it's such a vibrant story, and it's a story that feels so resonant with um, with our times, times when teenagers are, are a massive force economically, culturally, within our family, on street corners wearing hoods and wielding knives. It, it, it would be unthinkable for anyone who loves the novel not to want to bring it to life again. I really loved it. It's, it's fun to be, to be bad and great costumes and having that scar on my face. I used to scare the people of the children of Eastbourne and Brighton. Well, you know, she's the voice of justice in the film. She's a force for justice. She's fighting for justice. She's a strong woman. She sees what's right and what's wrong. Listen, I threw Fred Hale to the walls. I'm not going to do the same thing to you. Please. Come on, come on, Rose. You can talk to me. Oh, well, I've worked with Helen before, and it's always a joy. It's always a real joy. So we had a nice time. We had a very good time. Just watching her is learning. Watching her and John and Phil and Andy, it's, for Sam and I, was a, it, it, you know, it was a privilege. It was a privilege. Uh, Nerve-wracking the first time they walk in the room. You think, what, what am I doing here? But, but all thespians say the same thing, but they are really lovely and very funny. It was helpful and scary. Um, scary because you think, gosh, how on earth am I going to direct two such venerable and experienced actors? Um, but helpful because their decision to be involved in the movie gives you confidence, as it, especially as a young director. So it was like a seal of approval. Your boy is a murderer, Rose. Oh, I think you know more than you're letting on. It's too meant Somehow you're mixed up in it. Why won't you trust me, Pinky? And just finally, what can audiences expect from Brighton Rock? It's very visual, it's very visceral, um, it's it's exciting and, you know, and it's a great, and it comes from a great piece of literature. Seeing how, how beautifully Rowan and, uh, and, and John have captured it, I think it, it really is a, a, a wonderful way to tell a brilliant story. A good story, I think, and uh, with some twists and turns, and hopefully they can forget about financial crisis for a few hours. For anyone who's ever been to the cinema and got to the end of a film and felt a bit shortchanged by the ending or a bit unmotivated by the characters, um, this is storytelling at its best and it comes from Graham Greene and we try to honor it. I'm scared. No one, I'm with you.